Self-publishing a book online can be overwhelming. And of course, it seems like you're probably like, Dale, I've already heard this episode. <laughs> That's because we're going on our 10th episode here of this multi-part series about self-publishing a book online. And we're going to be talking about one of the avenues that I was a pretty big fan of. Um, and I've actually used them on a few occasions. And their name is Publish Drive. Are they all that in a bag of chips? Well, we're going to be talking about that in today's podcast episode, so make sure that you stay tuned. This is the Self-Publishing with Dale podcast, and it is episode number 71, and I'm tickled to death that you have taken a little bit of time out your day to spend a little bit of time with me to chat about one of my favorite things, and that's self-publishing books. But before we do dive into things, this podcast would not be possible without the fine support of folks like you that listen in. In order from the affiliate links that I go ahead and put inside the show notes, plug, plug, but more importantly, the sponsors. And these sponsors really help things kind of keep going. They make sure that I can continue to provide the free content to you without having to go broke in the process since I'm not paying attention to the other parts of my self-publishing business. Easy for me to say, right? In any event, so this podcast is exclusively sponsored by Archangel Inc. Archangel Inc. is the premier done-for-you full-service self-publishing services provider. Their goal is to make the self-publishing process streamlined and simple for their clients while they handle all the details and the quote-unquote dirty work of production and publishing. From cover design and editing to ebook and paperback typesetting to audiobook production and ghostwriting, Archangel Inc. is designed to make the process as simple and turnkey as possible for authors and businesses to professionalize their written work and focus their energies on their highest value work. That being said, take a look over at Archangel Inc. and all their various services. Go over, take a look at them. Look at their, uh, their book covers, by the way. Their book covers are just stellar. Uh, you can do that over dalelinks.com slash archangelinc. Again, that's dalelinks.com slash archangelinc. I've got a link to that inside the show notes. All right, so here we are. Here's the problem. Let's go ahead. We're going to just expedite this whole thing. The problem uh, with self-publishing online is, man, it is so accessible. And it seems like everyone in their mother is actually publishing something or putting out a publishing company. So which ones do we trust? Which ones should we go with? And with all these options, what I'm trying to do is just curate the best of the best, the ones that you should go to, the ones I've tested out, and some of the ones that some other indie authors have found some good success with. With all of those options, though, comes the pain and heartache of having to open up various accounts, put in all of your tax information here, collect all the tax information at the end of the year, give it to your CPA. Your CPA gives you one of those dirty looks and is like, oh gosh, could you give me a few more forms? Um, but you can probably make it easy on them. So easy so with aggregate publishing. Aggregate publishing works like this. You go to a publishing platform, such as ones we talked about in the past, like Smashwords or draft to digital or like the ones we're talking about today, Publish Drive, you upload the content to their platform and they distribute it to various other platforms on your behalf and they give you all the money in return. Now with Publish Drive though, it comes with a bit of an asterisk. They're a little different in how they do their aggregate publishing. You get to keep 100% of your profits, but it's through a subscription model. There's the asterisk. It's through a subscription model. So you actually have to pay for the services. Now, not to be confused, this is not a vanity publisher, right? They're not just here to try to take your money and just deuce out and say, hey, see you later. Ha ha, I got the rights to your book. No, Publish Drive's good. They're on the up and up. In fact, I've actually been following Publish Drive for now a couple of years, and they've gone through a bit of an evolution. They used to be like Smashwords and Drafted Digital in that they would collect 10 to 20% of all net profits that would come in through all the different avenues. But they changed course, and they, they literally did it overnight. It shocked the heck out of me because I ended up finding out in about September of 2019 they're like, hey, by the way, we're doing subscription models. Oh, what? what? Because they went from what's what we call rev share in the insiders uh, business here. Um, they did rev share or revenue share. And then they said, you know what? We're subscription based. They were cool about the fact that they allowed all the people that were already publishing on the platform to stay with the revenue share model. However, it was just kind of like, 
you can only use ebook distribution. And you're probably going, wait, hang on. So they do more than just ebook distribution? Yeah. Here's the really cool part is they knew what they were doing because they knew they were going to be coming out with all these various models and they knew that they were going to be different from their competitors in the likes of Smashwords or Drafted Digital or Book Ricks or any of those aggregators. You can format in any types. That's including ebook, print book, audiobook. You keep 100% of the net profits. Uh, hello. Love that idea. We'll get to the subscription cost here in just a second. And I will break it down at the very end on what you need to be expecting as far as making revenue through there in order to justify the expense for subscription based services with Publish Drive. Let's start out with ebooks. So, this was like their bread and butter. This is the thing that got them started into the game, which was ebook distribution. And I actually have three, or excuse me, 30 different distribution platforms, tons of them. This includes like Amazon, Amazon's big four alternatives in, you know, Apple, Barnes and Noble, Kobo, Google Play. They have library distribution. They have just so much. They even have China distribution. Yeah, you could go and distribute your ebooks through China pretty freaking awesome and believe it or not their royalties are not bad here here's the thing is keep in mind you're collecting 100 percent of all profits here but remember that each of these platforms honor a specific royalty amount for each one of them so for instance you can have upwards of 70 percent if you were to distribute to amazon kindle direct publishing by way of publish drive okay not too bad right but then if you look at, say, one of the other distributors, it might be as low as 25%. So this is why it varies. And I'm going to give you a link here at the very end, and it is inside the show notes that actually will break down each one of those royalties so you can kind of know what you're dealing with. But as far as what do you need to come to the table as far as the format, you need to have a DOCX or EPUB document in order to upload to the eBooks. Uh, last I heard, and it's been a minute since I looked at it, they used to actually have a free service for formatting your ebook. I'm not sure if it's still there. It's been about a hot minute since I did that. It was fairly, you know, flat. It just, it wasn't anything to write home about. It just formatted your stuff into EPUB so it could be distributed to all the different platforms. Um, I do know that at one point they were actually charging, but then they did away with that because they wanted to see more people publishing through their platform. All right, so that's ebooks. 25 to 70% royalty, not stinking bad. Again, most aggregators are gonna come in, they're gonna pull in, say, 15% of that net profits that you'd be doing. So Smashwords, for instance, takes 15% of the percentage that you pull in from Apple, of Barnes & Noble, of Kobo, so on and so forth. So print, here we go. There's two distribution platforms that actually they feed out to, and that's Amazon, and Amazon actually is available, I think everybody knows this one, 41 languages, eight different stores. And I'm not sure where they get this royalty from. They say it's 50% to distribute to Amazon. I don't know if they're using KDP print and it's not entirely clear on their website or if they're using say a, a different print on demand distributor to distribute through Amazon. I'm, I'm guessing it's KDP print if that's the case I'm kind of wondering what happened that they're at 50%, whereas if you go through KDP print, it's 60% minus print costs. So that part's a little ambiguous. They need to probably clear that up. The other distributor is CNP Reading, and that's actually a Chinese distributor. They will publish in any language, three online retailers plus libraries, and they're actually 55% for your print book. Now, with what you need to come to the table, you need to have a fully formatted PDF for your cover and your interior. They're not going to get that stuff ready for you, and it doesn't look like they have any type of, uh, you know, like a cover creator like KDP has. You can choose from 28 different trim sizes, black and white, full color, any type of paper, cover lamination, and binding type. Now, I haven't done a deep enough dive. I've not taken a look at any other products or any kind of proof. So it's a little bit of a question mark for me. I'm not really entirely sure. But, um, and if you have tried it out, please hit me up. Let me know what you think of it so far. All right, let's move forward. Audiobook. This is kind of cool. 
I was pretty excited to hear that they had audiobook distribution and I even tested it out. Uh, I will tell you this right now. I've had zero results with it so far. Zero. And it's already been up for a few months on the market. But could be because I'm not marketing and promoting it. So it just kind of goes to show there's no real organic reach by way of published drive. And maybe if I've got to utilize a little bit of marketing promotion, it might work out more in my favor. But uh, they have eight avenues that you can choose from. And the percentage varies from 11 to 80% royalty. Again, you collect 100% of that. It just depends on the avenue that you distribute to. So for instance, I think it's like a CNEP, uh, or excuse me, CNP Reading is I think the name of the company. Uh, they have an 80% royalty model for distribution through their audiobook services. But you go down to like an 11% and they are looking at some type of a library distribution and it might have even been Kobo that got the smaller royalty amount. Um, so this varies per platform. And of course, you've got to come with your own audio files. It's fairly intuitive, uh, really, really simple. So there's ebook, there's printbook, there's audiobook. And you can distribute all three of those things. Again, I'm gonna get to the subscription model in just a second. Um, we're burning through things really fast because rather than trying to overwhelm you with all these things, I figure I'm just gonna give you the, the, the bullet points, the things that you need to know. There's a couple of miscellaneous things I wanna cover real briefly is they do have book promotion features. So again, this is where I was kinda of saying, you know, hey, maybe it's on me that I'm not getting any audiobook uh, uh, sales at all through that dashboard um, because there is book promotion services. Now they do have Amazon ads integration. So if you are distributing to Amazon for your ebook or your print book, you can utilize the Amazon ads through Publish Drive. That's something unique. You don't see this in other aggregate publishers. You're not seeing this in draft to digital You do not see this in Smashwords. I don't think you get it through BookRix. You only get this through Publish Drive. I'm not sure how they worked out that deal, but either way, you're able to still do promotion for your Amazon books through Publish Drive. Also, if you're subscribed to the email newsletter and I highly recommend it, if you do have an account with Publish Drive, stay subscribed. They send out a, I'd say weekly newsletter. Sometimes they go two times per week. They will typically tell you the monthly opportunities for promotion. Keep an eye on those things. Some of them are very niche specific and others are a bit more broadly focused. And, uh, one of their other services, and this is funny because I would found out about this and then not too long afterwards is when I found out about the subscription and I have my, I'm sitting there scratching, shaking my head going, why did you tell me about this? But it's, it's pretty cool. It's uh, something that's called Abacus and Abacus is for any time that anybody's doing any kind of co-writing or they're distributing on the behalf of someone. Abacus is a way to figure out royalty splits and getting it to where you have one dashboard that all collaborators can kind of log into and track promotional expenses, any type of business expenses, like whether it's proofs or marketing and so on and so forth, and you're putting that all into there. And they've got it integrated with most all publishing platforms. So all you have to do is take the earnings report and drop it on in there and it fully populates and then people are able to log into Abacus. Runs about $2.99 per title to use them. However, they do say, and it still says this, the first title is forever free. So for some reason you want to test out Abacus, you've got a collaboration with, with another author, this might be a good idea to kind of pop in there. Their other big resource, and I see a lot of people sleeping on this, whether you use Publish Drive or not, I recommend you go take a look at their blog. They're a fantastic resource and they've got a ton of recommendations pop in there, I highly recommend it. All right, so I've been teasing. I'm talking about the subscription model. You're like, okay, come on, dude. You tell me 100%, you've been revving me all up. You've been just cheerling all about Publish Drive. Okay, I gotta know what's it gonna cost. Now, for some reason, I had a little bit of pushback from a viewer more recently. They're like, mm, you can't do one title for free anymore. They don't have it fully disclosed on the front page, and unless they've changed it most recently, you can upload one title for free, any format, ebook, audiobook, or print book. Now keep in mind, each format counts as a title. So even though that might be the same title, okay, the same intellectual property, it is counted separately as a title. So if you wanted to say, for instance, uh, put out your Werebear Shapeshifter Romance book, and you've got ebook, print book, and audiobook. Well, that's three titles to them. So that's going to cost. 
So when you go up to two titles, it's $9.99 per month. When you go up to six titles, it's $19.99 per month. When you go up to 24 titles, it's $49.99 per month. When you go up to 48 titles, it's $99.99 per month. So $99.99 per month, 48 titles. I mean, if we sit there and we do the math, you're looking at about 16 different books done through their three different iterations. Um, and heck, that can add up after a while. 13 titles, you're pretty prolific by that point. And hopefully if you're uploading that many, you're generating more than $100 per month. And we're gonna break that down in just a moment. But before we do, I just wanna have a little bit of a talk here with you. That talk is this. We've already broken 36,000 subscribers over on YouTube. It means the world to me that you've taken enough trust and some of your time out your day to spend a little bit of time with me. But it's my mission this year that I positively impact 100,000 authors and self-publishers. So if you've ever found any type of value in what I've shared with you through this podcast, if you've implemented any strategy or tactic and seen some positive results through my YouTube channel, do me a huge favor. Head on over to dalelinks.com slash YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Turn bell notification on so you don't miss a single one of those videos and become part of the 100K sub club. You're going to be part of the first 100,000 people? Well, time will tell. It's going to be up to you. If I've positively impacted your life, do me that huge favor. Go to dalelinks.com slash YouTube and subscribe today. So here it is. My final thoughts. Is Publish Drive worth it? There's a few things you've got to kind of weigh in on before we start to say, is Publish Drive worth it? First thing is, they are pretty transparent about everything. They fully disclose your earnings potential with each one of the percentage models through publishdrive.com slash stores.html. Again, I've got these inside the notes um, and we'll be able to share that here with you. The next thing is risk versus reward. Where you look at something like draft to digital or Smashwords and you publish to them, there's not much for you to risk. The only risk that you take is, well, if you sell some, they take 15% of your profits. Okay, fair enough. So when you go to a platform like Publish Drive, you're betting on yourself. You're saying, you know what? I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna make some, some money. I'm gonna promote my books through all these various avenues and I'm gonna generate enough to justify that expense of that subscription model. Break it down here for just a second. Let's say that you had two titles. Two titles. Two titles is $9.99 per month. We're just gonna just put it all up to $10. I mean, one cent off. So $10 profit per month to break even. In order for you to break even, you need to look at it this way. Let's look at two different models. Ebook, let's say your ebook is $2.99 and you're distributing it to Amazon KDP, which means you're gonna get about 70% of that $2.99, which roughly comes out to about $2.09. You need to sell about five of those ebooks to get $10.45 profit. So that means that you will be profiting about 46 cents beyond that. Everything else is gravy. Think about that. Five titles. Can you be able to sell five titles at $2.99 in the course of a month? I hope you can. And I'm sure you probably hope you can as well. Okay, audiobook. Let's look at audiobook. Audiobook is a little bit more expensive. People are going to be paying just a bit more of a premium for it. Let's just say, for instance, your audiobook's $4.99 and you're distributing it through CMP Reading Audio and there's 70%. All you need to do is sell three titles. Three titles. $10. 47 cent profit, that means you're gonna pocket 48 cents after the subscription model. So when you think about this as well, you got two titles, you've increased the odds of making your money back. And even if for say, for instance, you end up selling, let's say 100 titles, let's pretend we sell 100 titles by way of Publish Drive versus selling 100 titles by way of places like Smashwords or draft to digital Well, if you sell 100 titles, they're still gonna collect that 15%. Publish Drive's like, 
no, nah, we're good. You pay me $10 per month, you take all that. Pretty cool, right? I mean, at first when I heard this model, I said to myself, I'm like, oh, yeah, come on, man. But then I thought to myself, wait, that's actually a pretty good, good plan. This makes sense. And especially for those of you out there that really want to collect all the profits. And even if you were to say, for instance, do six titles and pay 20 bucks per month or even 24 titles, which breaks down to about eight different publications through ebook, audiobook, and print book, you know, okay, $50 per month amongst all those titles. If you just sell that many, it's not bad. So is Publish Drive worth it? I'm going to leave this up to you, the podcast listener, to kind of discern, does it make sense for you to distribute so wide? It's, is the reach worth it? Possibly. It just depends on what you do for marketing and promoting that book. And it's entirely up to you, the success that you're going to be able to do. So, you know, it's, it's a blank check at this point. It's just up to you to write it. At this point, you got to kind of consider, though, Am I willing to spend the subscription and hedge all the bets on myself? That's up to you. Hey, so if you want to get yourself set up with a free account, uh, go on over to dalelinks.com slash publish drive. There's not going to be obligations to you to pay anything up front. You can go ahead and kick around inside the dashboard and let them know that Dale sent you on over there. I appreciate that very much. Hey, by the way, uh, subscribe or follow me on your preferred podcast platform and do me a huge favor and leave a review. I do try to check those reviews. It's been about a week or two since I checked last, but I promise you next week we will try to highlight some of those reviews very, very soon. In the meantime, I want to let you know that next week we're going to keep pushing forward the self-publishing book online series. We're going to be focusing on yet another aggregate publisher. Who will it be? You're going to have to tune in to find out. In the meantime, you know that means I'm starting to wrap things up when I say that. It's been Self-Publishing with Dale, and I will chat with you next week.